Right, hello. This is extremely awkward, affirming myself. Um, so this is day one of uh, a bikepacking adventure I'm doing uh, down to Devon. Uh, it's uh, 3rd of August, 2022. And I'm just about to head off. Um, and I'd like to, thought I'd make a little diary about it. And uh, yeah, not sure what I'm gonna do with this. Maybe just watch it back in a few years time or you know, maybe my little girl will watch it decades from now or maybe some sentient AI will find it on the internet and watch it. Or maybe, just maybe, might have the guts to upload it to YouTube and uh, do that because that would be cool too. Um, but yeah, my name's Toby, who's my daughter, you probably know that. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, I'm off on a on the first adventure for a long time. I cycled around Europe when I was 21, uh, but since then I've not not done a big adventure on a bike. And this is not that big, but I'm kind of nervous. Uh, just give you a little walk around my bike and uh, talk a little bit about what I'm going to do. But uh, I won't chat for too long because I need to head off because I'm a little bit running a little bit late. The, uh, the first destination is Marlborough. So I'm riding from London, uh, West London, Queen's Park, uh, to Marlborough today, instead of Marlborough tonight. Um, and they're gonna ride from Marlborough to Bath tomorrow. Um, and uh, meeting up with my girlfriend in Bath on Friday, and then we're gonna ride Glastonbury, and then just basically head to like West Devon, North Devon, um, potter about, gonna go and see my old, the old family home on my mum's side of the family that I've always wanted to go and visit, a place called Arlington Court in North Devon. Um, and then I think we're gonna head sort of across, uh, I guess it's South Devon at that point, down towards Exeter, one of my old childhood friends lives down there, gonna go and see him, and then probably ride back up via the Jurassic Coast uh, on the, what would that be like, I suppose the southeast side of Devon, into Dorset, probably ride to Salisbury and then get the train back. And I've allotted about a week to do all this, um, which seems like, if I'm averaging like, mm, about five hours a day, I think that's, should be doable unless I've completely miscalculated the whole thing, which I may well have done because it's all been a bit lastminute.com, it's all been a bit unorganized, a bit chaotic, and that's just the way I roll. So <laughs> we'll see. But yeah, well, I'm going to flip the camera over and uh, show you my wonderful steed. Right, so this is the tool for the job. This is my on one big dog um, that I christened Big Dog Will. Because I got this beast when uh, that whole weird little debacle with Will Smith at that sort of award ceremony happened. And I don't know, it just seemed like kind of synchronous. I thought, yeah, it's blatantly going to call it Will. Uh, and I like the name Will. I think if I ever had a, a boy, I would call him William because I just like it. I like the name Will I Am. It's just a sick name. For a number of reasons I won't get into now because I really haven't got the time to... to um, rabbit on as I tend to do uh, so yeah this is what I'm going for in terms of luggage it's pretty minimal just have this it's a four litre frame bag I've got off Amazon got this little Evoque pouch the only thing that's there is an inner tube I've got this inner tube here got my snazzy PT's water bottle that comes off in a really sick way like that you just literally pull it off and then snap it back on because it's held in with magnets love that got my big Black Spire platform pedals that I adore because they're so huge and I've got massive, I've got my feet are so big, <laughs> they split through my 510s, which is frankly ridiculous. I don't know if 510s are just made really shoddily or they just come up a bit small on me, but I was pretty shocked that that happened. Anywho, got the pill grips. So I'm a big fan of Sam Pilgrim. So I had to rock the pill grips in the clashing. Um, fluorescent yellow. <laughs> I was so annoyed when I got the pedals because they clashed so badly with the pill grips. 
but the pill grips go so well with the Bel Air saddle. Anyway, this wasn't supposed to be like a big bike check. So that's basically the minimal bike pack. And I tried to get a rack yesterday, but I couldn't find anything that fit 29 inch wheels and 148 mil mountain bike spacing and accommodated disc brakes. So sack that off and I'm just gonna, I've got this Evoc, rather nice Evoc free ride light backpack that I'm gonna use. It's, uh, I think it's like 16 liters, so it's not much, not much to that, but um, I got my snazzy little bum bag that I picked up on Port Bella Road a few months ago. Uh, it's a sick find. And yeah, that's it, man. Heading off now. Um, excited, nervous, and uh, yeah, we'll see how we get on. I shall keep you posted. It's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting to see if I've got the nerve to, uh, to record videos out and about, you know? It's kind of something I like to do. I'm quite a, quite a self-conscious person sometimes, but I can't have that gear. So uh, yeah, it'd be cool to, um, to kind of get over that. I'm a big fan of um, Ali Clarkson's channel and I've kind of watched that almost since the beginning. And I've watched a lot of his early videos and I really like the dudes just, I like the fact that he just challenged himself to do that for a year and I just think it's really cool, you know, because he's obviously quite a, like, reserved, wouldn't say shy, but just like he's not, you know, he doesn't seem like a especially extrovert chap, and, uh, you know, I'm not sure I am too either, but um, I think it's good to kind of push yourself, you know, I think that's that's why I like riding bikes. I like pushing, pushing my limits, seeing what I'm capable of, and this is probably just another way of doing that, if I can, you know, do this and upload to YouTube and, you know, just put it out there for people to, for people to, you know, get what they get out of it. Because, you know, I've got a lot from watching people like Ali Clarkson, Sam Pilgrim, and just also just like random people who don't make like professional videos or aren't like professional YouTubers. But I love just coming across random people on, on YouTube who just do stuff like this. So it would just be nice to uh, to contribute to that kind of pool of experience and good juju energy and vibes and just people doing like interesting cool things with with their days and recording them and sharing them for other people to get inspiration from and yeah i thought this is kind of a fun interesting thing for me to do and uh maybe it'll seem that way to someone else i should probably turn the camera around and see all this but <laughs> i hate fucking looking at myself uh but yeah just recording on my phone i did think about getting a gopro but i don't know if i'm actually gonna you know, do this, have the time or the energy or, you know, the sort of nerve to actually make videos like this, but it'd be cool to do it. Anyway, I've rambled on. I've got to go. Um, but yeah, hopefully check in soon. So, first pet stop. Stop from the border nature. I've ridden for about an hour and a quarter, hour and 15 minutes. Something like that, and it's been fucking grueling to be honest with you. Like, it's great headwind cycling out of London on the Great West Road is uh, definitely leaves a lot to be desired. And um, yeah, it's just like so many things you forget when you do like a long ride compared to like the normal way that I ride is to go out for like short, sharp blasts, and act like a bit of a hooligan, doing wheelies and manuals. And, skate box and jumps and bunny hops and drop on my seat all the time and it feels like you know I'm not quite fit doing that but this is a different kind of riding it's just like churning away just, just grinding out the miles the seat up high suddenly notice how uncomfortable the seat is how uncomfortable my hands are on the bars it's all these little things it's just like this is um this is, this is hard hard going I think a lot of it's um this, this part of London is just fucking grim, man. I think I'm out here in Heathrow now. And it's just it's just miles of like dual carriageway. I mean, thankfully, there's a there's bike cracks that go all the way down the dual carriageway. Um, I'm not sure how much decent audio you're going to get. I'll come over here by the railway. That's the choice of background. He's got a fucking train going by. <laughs> not going to hear that, are you? Uh, probably none of the audio will work. Yeah, so I'm an hour in, I'm 
starting to feel more and more excited. I mean, it is, it's cool, man. It's cool to be actually on the journey now. And, um, yeah, on my way. So, it's good. I also realise why people have selfie sticks, because it's quite, I mean, I've got long arms, so I guess I can do that. That's a bit better. But, yeah. So, yeah. Ah, oh, it's good. It's good despite being um, a bit grueling at this point. I'm just looking stoked to be on the way to be going. And um, yeah, got the tunes going, which is nice. Haven't popped a wheelie yet. It's like the, the other thing is like, the bike is so heavy. You know, I don't think I appreciated it at all. Like, even though I've packed light and I've not got that much um, luggage, it's, uh, it's super heavy. It's super heavy. So. Yeah, I just got a bit sick of the sight of my own face there for a second. <laughs> but yeah, I'm um, hyped to be on my way. Uh, yeah, but Big Dog Will is feeling pretty, um, pretty chunky, pretty overweight. So I've got the lock in here in the um, frame bag, and the, oh man, yeah, it's it's um, it's heavy. Oh, but it's good. Check it out. Bloody Heathrow. I was right. Oh, it's Premier Inn. Look at this, isn't this stunning? <laughs> the absolute glory of, of uh, Southern England. <coughs> oh my God. I still have this lingering cough from the covid -y. covid -y nonsense. I wonder what it's like if I put this here and try to cycle. I wonder if I could put it here, actually. Oh. Um, yeah, a couple more observations. Kamut, which is what I'm using to navigate because it's uh, video, and then you'll probably be able to hear me even well because I'm oh, now Kamut shouting in my ear. So, Kamut, like, I think it's pretty cool because you can do like mountain biking, gravel riding, gives you all these options of sort of routes you want to take, but it, it also does these mental things where like you're going in a straight line. The route is clearly just a straight line for miles and miles and miles, which is what this is. And it will suddenly just say to you, do a U-turn. Now do a U-turn. Now do a U-turn. Now go right. Now go left. Now go straight ahead. Now do a U-turn. And it's like, you look at it, and actually, it's just saying, keep going straight. But it just wants you to do U-turns all the time for no particular reason. So I don't have a great deal of faith in it. Um, so that's one observation. Another observation, if I go on, it is actually trying to tell me to do things now and I'm ignoring it. So I'm making this video. So I don't know, I think I've gone wrong. Hold on. Oh wow, isn't this lovely, the Hilton. Kind of like, who would want to stay? Imagine staying here. I guess this is just like where people stay when they've missed their flight or something. Or inspiring. <laughs> um, yeah, the other observation is that I am really bad at knowing the lyrics to songs, even songs that I've listened to for decades, like literally 20 years. Some of these songs I've, I've no, like I should know the lyrics by now, but I'm like singing along as I rise and become very painfully aware that I, I just have no capacity to remember lyrics. This is definitely not the right way. Right, I'm going to shut up now. Crack on. OMG, check it out. It's not long after the little getting lost bit. But look, it's a field. It's a bona fide, legit field. How good is this? I'm, I'm getting really hyped now, actually. Look, green, there's trees. I don't know if you can see the trees. Like, we're still in dual carriageway land, but there are trees and there is a field. Which is, oh, this is the first field. First of many. Um, and yeah, it's fucking cool, man. I also just wanted to like explain, because I apparently feel the need to overthink and explain pretty much everything that I think and do. Imagine like explaining your thoughts. It's kind of a strange thing to do, isn't it? Because then what you have to explain while you're explaining, it all gets very meta and a little bit some um, snake eating its own tail. It's windy. I'll come down out of the wind. 
Um, like, why did I do this? Like, why did I not get the train to Reading? Which was actually like an idea that I had just to get a train to Reading. But actually, it just kind of occurred to me now, so clear that I think the reason why. So I think maybe I mentioned it earlier, or at least alluded to it when I was um, 21. I did a big, or not? Well, I cycled like around. Like over the Alps and into, like into Europe, across Belgium and Czech Republic and uh, Germany, Italy. I basically did a big old, it's a proper like big bike trip. But the thing that I did in the outset was I got a lift from old Diz to Dover. And um, I've always felt that that was the wrong thing to do in hindsight, you know? Like, check this out. I actually found a nice bit of stains. Look at it. Wow. Right, here's another quite cool thing about stains. It's on this road I've just been riding. There's these banks, like this bit's all fucked up and like gnarly, but basically like I just come from that way. And on the main road there, it's just this, it gets like really good. It's be a sick spot for BMX or biking. Probably a bit too harsh for skateboarding, but pretty sick spot. So. Stains, it's not all bad. All right, here's a pro tip. Don't try and record a video at extremely slow speeds and then try and stop recording the video. Shit, I'm coming up with my What I was trying to say is that it's probably not like the best of ideas to try and record videos while holding the camera. Again, I've got to turn right, but I'm holding the camera, so that's where I'm supposed to be going. But instead, because Apparently I'm really into this whole talking and videoing thing now. I'm just going down here. Ah! Legoland. <laughs> awesome source. Also, Magna Carta. Who knew? Check out this insane building. It's the Royal Holloway Hospital. That's like... Just... Amazing. Never seen something quite like that. Um, what an absolutely, I don't think it really comes across on the camera, but it's an amazing bit of architecture. Stunning. Just outside of Staines, Egham, neck of the woods. Um, yeah, I'm going to stop in a minute and do a proper catch up, but I just had to uh, take note of this incredible building. Wow, look at this place. There's another, this is the proper entrance. But it's absolutely um, beautiful. I'm going to go and have an absolutely amazing place. Chapel. Look at this place. I've never seen anything like it. Hold up. <laughs> There's like no one here. What an incredible place. All right, I just had to stop and do a proper, that's really hard holding the camera backwards. <laughs> had to stop and do a proper update because, um, yeah, at the next chance, make a U turn. Fucking hell, Camus just won't shut up. Um, it's so annoying. It does this thing where it basically just says, like, every two seconds keep going in a straight line keep going and it's like this you can't do anything else but it just keeps telling you it which is probably killing my battery as well which is not ideal <laughs> anyway i'm here at, um what's it called the royal something holloway royal holloway hospital never seen a building like this it's absolutely nuts absolutely bonkers um so yeah i thought this would be a good good spot to do a proper update um <coughs> I'm psyched, fucking psyched on this trip, man. It's so good. When I'm riding along, I have all these things that I want to say. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I'm going to do a video and I'm going to say all these cool things. But um, when I stop and do a video, I just talk absolutely shy. Apparently. But yeah, <laughs> it's really good to be on this trip. Let me turn this around so you can see this amazing building rather than my terrible face. Um, the bells are going, so I suppose it's, uh, what time is it? Yeah, I guess it must be midday then. Hold on. 
Yeah, midday bells. Look at this place, man. Look at it. Like, Jesus, it's such... It stands in such stark contrast to the areas I've just cycled through. You know, it definitely feels like a kind of uh, a turning point on the journey, actually. I think I've just about escaped London now. I've just, um, yeah, I just left Staines, Egham, that's the kind of area I'm in now. And uh, yeah, I had all sorts of nasty things I wanted to say about Staines. <laughs> um, not the most, yeah. But then I thought I sound like an awful snob talking like that. But I mean, it's just, it's just my opinion, right? I just, yeah, I would not want to live in Staines or basically any, I just, suburbia is just, to me, a, like hell on earth. You know, I just, I can't, you know, put it any more, um, what's that about Michael Acuff? Oh, it's because Leslie's in my phone, is that? Sorry, just got messages coming in. Um, yeah, it, it couldn't be a more apt name for a town, Staines, really. Which I know just sounds like probably offending a lot of people by saying that, but I can't, I just can't imagine anyone lives in Staines and is proud of it. You know, that's kind of the thought I had was like, it just, it just can't, I mean, I suppose people must be in fair play to them, like I don't really care, but I have an opinion about suburbia that's quite strong <laughs> and also I was just thinking about the whole you know the culture we live in today where it's like it's not okay to have strong opinions about things just arbitrary like strong opinions like why not why can't I just dislike something for an arbitrary reason it's like like doesn't really actually affect anyone like everyone's entitled to their own opinions and uh, but it's sort of strange that we live in such a hypersensitive time that uh, you know you can have one opinion about one thing and that sort of puts a person off you in all sorts of other ways, which just seems silly because, you know, you may disagree with me about stains, but I may have, you know, lots in common with you on other things. And uh, it seems rather myopic to, um, to get too worked up about people's opinions. Uh, anywho, love this place, it's so nice. Yeah, I need to have a little stretch. I'm. Um, uh. Yep, I think I'm definitely finally out of the um the woods of uh London. Check this place out. How sick is this? Ooh. Windsor Great Park. No more whinging, because now I'm in Windsor. Ah. Oh man, I'm never gonna get anywhere. I can't stop fucking stopping to, uh... <laughs> sorry, stopping the music. I can't stop stopping. <laughs> just to take note of these amazing moments. So this is Windsor, the great Windsor Park. It's fuck, it's the nicest place, man. Just seen some like crazy ruins and, um, oh shit, I didn't video the ruins. And then this crazy like weird, I think it's like man-made, what looks like some sort of fucking fairy habitat. Um, but look at this place, man. This park's amazing. Amazing for biking, just loads of um, path and water and trees and nature and wonder and joy. And um, yeah, love it. All right, so I just stopped off, had some lunch in uh, in the park, the Great Winds Park. And now Camille's telling me I have to go through the Royal Ascot racetrack. And I'm thinking, surely not because it doesn't look like a three-way, but yeah, so I follow this way 300 yards. Anyway, this is Ascot. Man, I am fucking knackered now. Yeah, just had like an epic breakfast roll, bacon, sausage, eggs, so good. But like slightly food comed. And what is it now? Like nearly two o'clock, so been long. Talk about from the sublime to the ridiculous. 
Right. Check out this hospital. Hospital? Is that how you say that word? <laughs> yeah, look at this compared to um the other one. Oh, no, how grim is that place, man? Although, to be fair, it is closed. It has relocated. So, but yeah, man, that looks pretty grim. Anyway, this isn't a tour of fucking southern England hospitals, hotels. That's my hand. Um, yeah, just leaving Ascot. Jesus, man. I feel like I'm not making good progress, really, to be honest with you. But who knows? All I can do is just keep churning. Keep churning my legs and following the directions of the Kamut Gremlin. And uh, hopefully we can get to Marlborough by the end of the day. Now turn right. Shit, I've got to go. Right. Two things. Oh, wow, look at that house. Sick house. Oh, no. What? 400 yards this way. Two things that I'm doing my head in at this point. First is Kamut, which, um, yeah, I've, I've, I've whinged about Kamut already, but I just have to do some more. <laughs> it's basically like, now go straight, then go straight. In 200 yards, go straight, then go straight. There's no Popeswood Road. See, right now it's telling me. Oh, fuck now. Come right. Make a U turn onto Popeswood Road. There is no Popeswood Road. None. There's Lawrence Grove. There's not a Popeswood Road. Oh man. <coughs> I'm so tired. And then it will tell me things like. Go, like, literally just now. I got to a T junction. And it just said. At this junction go straight then go straight and it's literally a t-junction and what it meant when i looked at it was go right so yeah i think tomorrow i'm gonna switch to um google maps so that's doing my head in and then this part of the world is just not it's not it's not a shout do you know what i mean it's just like oh just endless like suburbia really I mean, you've got the country now, like there's trees and fields and stuff. It's lovely, but it's just endless, endless drudgery, endless fucking these places. And uh, so busy. Like, oh my God, it's so busy. It's just endless traffic, which is doing my head in. Um, and it's getting late in the day and I'm not even at Reading yet. Reading's about halfway, so fuck knows how I'm gonna get to Marlborough. Just gonna have to keep grinding. Um, I don't know how on earth. Kamut said this would take four hours. I left at nine o'clock, so that's like five hours already and I'm not even at Reading. So I don't know what sort of magic bike or magic human they expect to be doing these things but like four hours is just ridiculous you know like I'm not an unfit person you know what I mean I'm not like some fat spot I mean, I've been ill a bit recently my bike is a bit of a tank um but apart from that I don't know anyway just gonna keep grinding and I'll uh, keep you posted and up in slightly better news though before I sign off I have pulled my first wheelies of the trip so that was um, that was an event that was going through Windsor, Great Windsor Park, and it was fucking hard to get it up actually with the with the um, the beastly frame bags there. Like it was uh, not trivial. But once I got it up, it was um, yeah, I kind of got the hang of it. So I think wheelies are gonna gonna happen, which is good. But not much today because I just don't have the uh, juice. Anyway, see ya. Oh, check this out. This is nice. Look, it's quiet. Allotments. It's actually quite nice around here. Okay, that's stopped recording, but... <sighs> so good, look at this. Just blazing down this hill. Oh, mate. It's actually really good. I know I'm whinging a lot, 
I know I'm whinging on and on and on about like, oh, this is not quite good, I don't like this, and all this shit, but honestly, like, it's fucking cool, man. It's so fucking cool just cruising, you know, actually getting somewhere. It's just, I'm just stressing because, wow, you probably can't hear a word over the wind. But yeah, man, I'm just stressing because of the time, you know, like, how am I going to get there in time? But the thing is, like, I've got lights, cameras, action, got all those things. And it will hopefully stay light till like 10. I don't know, it's August now, so fingers crossed it stays light for a decent amount of time. I should probably get back on that pathway, but it's the thing with the pathways, you have to keep stopping with the road you don't. But anyway, this is good. Um, I need to get some water. I feel like I haven't seen a single fucking shop in years. You know, I probably have, but I've just been so fixated on uh, my thoughts and listening to music that I haven't really been paying attention. But yeah, I need to stop and get some water. I'm fucking gasping for a ciggy, which I know is mental, given the fact that I'm riding all this way, but I could just, I would just love to stop. Oh, look, not a lovely other look. Do you know what? It's not so bad around here. Woo. Right, coming into the Ricky Gervais land now. It's redding. Look at it. Isn't it glorious? Redding. <laughs> I don't know. It's all right, I suppose. I'm glad to be here. Oh no, it's not. It's early. I wish I was early. I'm not early. That's rather nice. Look down there. Whoop. Mate, look. Look at this. Glorious redding. Oh, can't believe it. Look at it. Never been so happy to see Reading. Boom. Man, I can't believe it's taken this long to get to Reading. It's fucking bonkers. I'm getting so, like, <laughs> ragey whenever Kamut tells me to do a U-turn. Because it keeps misdirecting me and being like... <laughs> I don't know. It told me just to do a left and I did a left and then straight away went, now do a U-turn. <laughs> and I looked at the map and what it meant when it said do a left was... Just go straight ahead. I should really just switch to Google Maps, to be honest with you. I think I'll do that when I stop, actually, because I'm so sick of commute. Fucking hell. Don't know if this or any of this will get picked up on the mic, but... Where's my hand? Ah! Fuck. Motorway. Oh, my God, man. All right, let's get off the motorway. Jeez, Louise. So... Basically, oh my days, right, right, I'm going to stop somewhere quiet and play the proper catch up, well I thought this was quite cool, you know, strange, dystopian kind of way, motorway bridge, countryside, finally escaped Reading, Jesus Christ, so yeah, again, not the most, uh, auspicious of spots is it fucking some sketchy electricity thing oh my god i'm so fucking tired ah! oh i should not hold a camera there because that's where the, the camera the phone the camera's like there but um oh man this is like heavy really heavy that random shoe. You see the random shoe. It's just like I don't don't is the right word just can you get it? Yeah the shoe. It's the front facing camera so. But yeah, it's so dystopian. But then you got like lovely fields, but then a huge telephone pile and it's just like why humanity have you done this? Oh man, I'm gonna sit down. I brought some cigarettes. It's like the most ridiculous thing to do when you're trying to ride 80 miles and you're only halfway and it's like nearly four o'clock. But I just fucking just need a cigarette because I'm kind of a bit stressed. And oh, Reading just wouldn't end. It was like a mini London. It just it would not end. And um, 
let me just switch over the camera because I'm sick of the sight of myself. Yeah, Reading just, it would not fucking end. But I had a little cheer up. I like, I stopped because I thought my, brought some drinks and stuff to have my ciggies. And, um, uh, I thought it had leaked out of my bum bag and it wasn't, it was just like the condensature. Condensature, I can't even talk, I'm so fucking tired. Con condensation from the, um, I, just lo I love how like brutalist this spot is. Danger of death. <laughs> and then the motorway right there. Um, yeah, this is not like, do you know what? I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it. I have to say it. I should have got a train to Reading. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I really, if I, if I get there tonight, right, if I actually get there and I don't have like to fucking sleep in a fucking field and waste 50 quid on a, like, do you know what I mean? Like if I can actually get there and get a bed, then I'll think like, yeah, fair play. But man, it has been so fucking intense. But I think it's just like combination of the headwind because I was ill for a week before this. Maybe my fitness isn't quite up to par. Also, I'm just not used to riding long distances. You know what I mean? Like I said earlier, my fitness is sort of the fitness of um, short, sharp bursts of intensity, you know, and then chilling. Whereas this is just it's like continuous fucking churning. And it's just, yeah, you get so uncomfortable. And these shoes, man, like I so regret wearing these shoes. Um, Cause yeah, there's a reason they've got a massive fucking Hulk-esque bursting out of clothing thing on them, rip. And that's cause they're too fucking small and so they really hurt now. Oh man, tell you what, it's nice making these videos, documenting it, it does actually like, help feel like I don't know because doing it on by yourself is you know it's, it's not easy I'm looking forward to Alan getting here on well not here getting to um Bath on Friday because uh, I think it will I think it will help having company for sure um and this is the worst day to be fair like every other day that I've kind of planned out roughly planned or like looked at what might be a reasonable distance to do like of all of them this is the worst this is like 80 miles so every other day is like um i don't know maximum 50 i think so you know just hope i don't bugger myself today from too much riding but we'll have to see there's a little shoe why is this a rant like how does it how does a random trainer just end up here do you know what i mean like who just leaves one trainer you know, I mean, I'm quite tempted to leave both of my trainers because my fucking feet hurt so much, but um, I'm not going to do that. Anyway, what else do I want to say? Oh, it's just, it's just good to get past Reading, man, you know, except then, it, like, I think I am just out of Reading now. I thought I was out of Reading a while ago because I got onto, like, Bath Road and I was psyched that it was Bath Road because that's where I'm heading to, is Bath is... Bath's where I'm meeting Ellen. Bath's the next stop after Marlborough. I've got a room booked at the YMCA hostel. So yeah, getting onto Bath Road. Cause basically all day I've been on, I'm gonna switch over cameras cause you're probably getting bored of me wandering up and down this road, hold on. Cause yeah, all day I've been on some variation of London Road. Just keep ending up on London Road. It's just always seems to be London Road for some reason. Um, and now I'm on Bath Road, so it feels like I've fucking done it. I've got out of London. Because it kind of feels like London just never fucking ends. It just goes on and on and on. And it doesn't even, like, end. It just merges into these other places that are basically the same. Like, Reading is just like a mini London or just, like, just an extension of suburbia. I just find it quite sad how, like, it's just... There's no nature, really. Or, like, no... There's no world... Well... I mean, there's not much wilderness in England at all in the south of England. I think, I hope it's not like, I oh, know it's not, like once I get into the West Country, 
there'll be some wilderness, there'll be some... I mean, even like getting out to Marlborough should be a lot better. It's just, it's been quite gruelling with the busyness and the traffic and the incessant roads and like fucking just how busy the roads have been and how just endless suburbs and fucking... But anyway, I was trying to tell you... what I didn't, get, I didn't tell the story of, of the Reading story. Just a brief little, nice little um, interaction that cheered me up a lot. I was just, as I say, I'd stopped to get these ciggies. Then I end up dropping my can of Tenzing or whatever the fuck it's called, the bloody um, natural energy drink. I'm sure already isn't that natural, but um, anyway, dropped it, went on the road, picked it up. Anyway, this dude's kind of running over towards me. I'm like, what's this chap all about? And um, anyway, he's because he, <laughs> of the frame bag on the bike, he's like, oh, how many watts is it, mate? <laughs> I was like a little bit gutted and miffed. I was like, fuck does everyone think i'm on an electric bike because i mean i guess it could yeah it probably looks like a battery pack right but it's not it's just weight with no actual benefits um and anyway so we, like he stops and i think he was there with his old man or something and just anyway just had a nice little shimwag told him where i come from where i was going he didn't even know where marlborough was which didn't fill me with like, I've clearly got still some distance to go if, like, matey doesn't even know where Marlborough is. Because <laughs> I was, in my head, I've been thinking, like, oh, maybe Marlborough's just down the road from Reading. Like, it's not. It's not. It's a long way. <laughs> like, I'm halfway. <sighs> Fucking halfway. Okay, so, things have got a lot more lovely. We have a river and reeds and canal boats and lovely little cycle path away from roads, away from houses, away from people. Just absolutely glorious. So yeah, man, it's a shame because like, I'm sort of exhausted now. Look at this, it's just absolutely beautiful. Um, fucking Camus. It's just the shittest app, I'm deleting it. It basically turned into a zombie. I've had to put my phone on extreme battery saver because like my juice is getting pretty low. And um, so I stuck it on extreme battery saver. And would think like that would stop Kamut from doing its thing, but it's actually just been in zombie mode and still telling me that the tour is like behind me a certain amount of miles. That's been confusing me because I thought it was Google Maps spazzing out, but it wasn't. It's just Kamut not being killed by the extreme battery saver on my phone anyway oh definitely next time i do this i'm getting a train to reading because after reading it actually gets pretty fucking nice man pretty nice but i just feel like i need to get the miles done so i don't feel like i'm really stop and enjoy like look at these glorious benches oh my god so tempted just to sit and uh, have another cigarette but I can't I just can't at this point because it's uh it's like half past four and it reckons it's going to be like two and a half hours from here so uh, I don't want to get that in insane like insane o'clock so oh my god when I got up from my break half an hour ago or so I just like I nearly passed out man so tired Look at this lovely canal. It's so fucking lovely, man. I need to kill Kamut with fire because it's coming back from the dead again. I just got a notification from it. Jesus. Anyway, this is beautiful. This is, this is exactly what I've been hankering after for, well, since I left actually this morning, hankering after this kind of vibe. And I finally got here, so it's, uh, it's lovely. Just wish I had a bit more um, energy and time to enjoy it. But hey ho, you know, if I make it there tonight, am I, you know, I need to stop recording though because the battery thing is actually like quite a, quite a um, significant risk. So yeah. Oh man, I just have to update on this glorious fucking cycle path. It just goes on and on. It's so good. Like, Oh, it's just such an absolute joy after the riding I've been doing today and how 
just it's just it's been literally such a trudge trudging that happy path of destiny as they say in uh, Alcoholics Anonymous it really has been you know like oh I mean it has been happy and it has been you know kind of fun and exciting but this is what I've been waiting for is this kind of riding and it's fucking glorious so yeah I've got three more miles of this until the next uh, update from Google and I have to say Google Maps is definitely uh, a lot less obnoxious and irritating than that fucking commute app which I've deleted now because that thing is just a horror show anyway I will uh Update soon, no doubt. A couple more quick observations and uh, notes to make. Look at this, it's just stunning. Oh, I'm so happy, man. But um, yeah, the other thing I've noticed is the further away you get from London, the um, friendlier people get. You know, and at this point, like everyone I pass gives me a nice little smile, you know, like a sincere smile, you know. And I think actually it's been the first time I've got just smiles from people, you know, so lovely. Oh, look at this fucking river, man. It's so good. I am so chuffed. Um, the other thing is padded shorts, definitely a must if you're doing this. If you've got a Bel Air, SDG fucking Bel Air saddle, you need padded shorts because Look at these big fucking leaves, man. Okay, I've got to stop and zoom in on that. Hold on. Also, GoPro. Basically, if I want to keep doing this, I need to get some kind of action cam so I can talk and ride. Oh, because <coughs> using a phone kills the phone's battery, first off, and it's really difficult to do and ride, and you have to keep stopping. Oh, man, I wish I could stop more and enjoy this more, but... The days ahead, that, that will uh, that'll be more and more the case. But um, yeah, action cam, padded shorts, better shoes. These are all things that would be lovely to have going forward. Oh, okay, onwards. Okay, so this bowing, last update, because I'm 19% on battery, look at that. I'm 19 on back I've got 25 miles still to do, and it's um, it's five o'clock. But look at this, man! I mean, just look at it. Oh, it's so good. But man, do I want to just stop now? Like I am done. I'm starting to drizzle a bit, which in a way is quite welcome to do with the hydration. Ooh. But yeah, stoked, man. I'm stoked. It's been long. Been on the road pretty much non-stop, up for maybe half an hour, stop for lunch. On the road since half past nine. About seven and a half hours. Probably got another two hours at least. Anyway, I will, um, next update in Marlborough. Wish me luck. Okay, so I know I said it would be the last update, but... I had a brainwave. I stopped at Alundas to get some fuel, um, i.e. food, obviously, and asked the lady to charge my phone. So I'm back up to 27 now, and uh, back on this lovely uh, never-ending canal path, which is so cool. Just past Newbury, I think, and. Uh, yeah, I've still got like 19 miles, so yeah, I'm not going to do many updates, but yeah, it was good just to get some fuel, get a bit of energy, and uh, yeah, man, this has been a hell of an achievement. If I make it, like, fucking hell, I had no idea what I was getting into, <laughs> but... Yeah, these paths are sick, man, but I'm just so fatigued now. My bum, my bum is killing me. My feet are killing me. My shoulder blades are killing me. Um, my hips are killing oh, Everything is basically killing me. I'm basically fucked. 
completely fucked. But then like, you know, you look at this and you just think, well, it's all worth it, man. You know, oh, look at that. It's just so good. Oh. Right, let's crack on. So, I know I keep saying I'm gonna stop recording, but, and I know this probably isn't that interesting and if you've made it this far, kudos, because it's probably not the most enthralling of videos, but hey ho, I watch much more boring things than this on YouTube as uh, sort of work background fodder. So, um, oh man, look at it. I just have to stop because the sun's come out. It's been pretty gray all day. And now the sun's come out and I'm at another beautiful lock on this wonderful path. And it's just like, oh man, I love it. So yeah. Oh, <laughs> so good. I uh, just want to keep stopping at the moment because I am so tired. Look at the light on that, sunlight reflecting off the water. Man, I would love to just jump. Well, actually, I wouldn't want to jump in there. It looks revolting, but uh, to jump into some kind of water right now would just be absolute bliss. Oh, man. Yeah. Need to work out what time it gets dark because that's the other thing I've got to worry about. Is, uh, am I going to make it while the sunlight holds? Because I have got lights, but they're not really lights that show you the way. They're more lights that kind of just show you that you're there for city riding. So I need to be a bit careful that I don't get stuck on the roads after dark. But, um, yeah, I just had to... Um, record a bit more <sighs> despite what I said earlier anyway lots of love to all you beautiful people that have made it this far watching my video see you in a bit